What's going on, everybody? Simple back out of like I'm checking my height today. We are checking out a video known as Dutch Inventions. You never knew we're Dutch. If you guys enjoy this, make sure you head on over to the Content Creators channel. Show them some support over there. If this is your first time here. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's go. <music> So we have this ongoing joke at the right. moment that my partner seems to think that nearly everything was created by Dutch people. And I looked into this because every time he has this ridiculous example of something that I use every single day and he exclaims that, did you know that that was invented by a Dutch person? I doubt it every single time. And every single time I go to the internet, I find out that he's actually telling the truth. So today I wanna to make a video about the crazy things that you probably use every single day that you had no idea were invented by the Dutch. Now, before we get Let's into go. the list, I wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. I do just wanna point out real quick, right, that my favorite Dutch invention so far because not only is it the only one that I know of, right? But it's also one that holds a near and dear place in my heart. Is that little can scraper thing? I need to get me one of those so bad. Skillshare is an online learning platform for creatives. They have a range of classes Skillshare. on so many topics. I've been using Skillshare for such a long time now and I always find relevant classes to Free help me space. kind of feel like I'm upskilling at work. I can take classes on design and copywriting and how to write better emails or how to set up different business strategies. The class I'm loving this month is a class called Creative Writing, Crafting Personal Essays with Impact, and it's taught by Roxane the Gay, who Skillshare. is a New York Times bestseller. And I love her breakdown of the writing process and how to really tell a story with your writing and tell a message. So I've gained a lot from this class. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means there's no ads and they're always launching new and premium classes. Whenever I feel like I want to know more about a topic, I can jump onto Skillshare and know that there's going to be a class led by a professional and I don't have to sit through or skip through all the different ads that you sometimes get with YouTube. The first 1,000 of my subscribers will get a one month free trial with Skillshare using the link below in my description. Ooh. So jump on, <clears throat> explore all of the free promo spot right here if you guys Skillshare, if that code's still active, make sure you head on over there. Check it out. Classes that I know you'll love. And after your free trial, I'll it's just $10 a month. Now, you. back to the video. No so the very first item on my list is, is the telescope. What? The funny thing about the telescope is that basically three Dutch people That's applied so cool. for a patent for the technology all within a few weeks of each other and two of them even came from the same village so it's disputed whether the Dutch person who actually applied for the patent first was in fact the inventor but hmm. nonetheless the <laughs> other two backups were also Dutch so this was invented back in 1608 and the patent well the first guy to apply for one was called Hans Libreche is that how you pronounce his last name? <laughs> and not that I use a telescope every single day, but it led to amazing technical advancements and even things like being able to map the stars. So I feel like the fact that it came from a Dutch person is kind of cool. The if you're out there and you've never used a telescope before, right? I strongly urge you to go and find somewhere away from some city light. Go and check out the universe that we live in. It's really cool. The next thing on the list is also to do with looking in things. It is the microscope. <laughs> and I had no idea that the microscope oh, the was also invented in, in the Netherlands, in Middelburg. Again, the credit for this really? one is kind of in dispute by the first two guys who were actually inventing a telescope and whether one of them was actually kind of inventing that technology at the same time. But the hmm. guy that holds the real title for the microscope is Hans. No, it's not. Anton von Leeuwenhoek. And it was the first okay. time that anyone could see anything up to 200 times its normal size, which was, wow. it blew everything out of the water that existed at that time. So the yeah. Dutch also had a really big role to play in the invention of the submarine. So wow. the design of the submarine okay. was actually attributed to an Englishman, but the Dutch physicist Cornelius Drebbel, he was responsible for inventing the first underwater movable vessel. And apparently it was made of wood and the cover was just like greased up leather. 
and it had pipes that would bring water down from the surface and it used oars and flaps for momentum which just seems crazy to me i don't think yeah, i would right. want to be one of the people that tested out how waterproof it was and no. test out how deep it could go when there was just greased up leather between you and the ocean so oh he was gosh. actually working for the english royal <clears throat> navy when this all happened so i guess that was that crossover between the submarine design and uh the dutch that's kind insane of... is there a picture i want to i'm going to have to see if there's pictures out there of like one of the first designs for the submarine that's so cool. Making that happen. Now, if you've ever had your eyes tested, I know I have, and I'm pretty sure they're almost the same globally, these eyes, te these eyes tests, <laughs> the eye tests that you have to do. The eye tests, yes, were invented by a duchy. So a Dutch inventor by the name of Herman Snellen is- I mean, telescopes, microscopes, uh, binoculars, eye exam, instruments to see close it seems like everything has really come from the invention of the telescope right maybe not specifically how you see through everything because i'm pretty sure a telescope works with a prism or is that only when it's on the angle it works with the prism yeah because you're looking up at the stars so you need the prism inside but it's basically the same i don't know what i'm talking about anymore i just lost myself is responsible for creating a series of letters that went from large to small including a red and green stripe to test for color blindness and he came up with this idea in 1862 so wow. another contribution from a dutch inventor that is now used globally now something i didn't know was that philips the massive tech company who also makes appliances and household things is Dutch and I did not know this and Philips is obviously responsible for developing a massive massive array of technology types I know they're super mm. invested in the health industry and mm -hmm. making innovations there but one of the biggest yeah, things are. that they helped develop and changed the way we consume content was the invention of CDs and DVDs. So the CDs and the DVDs, again, that are used globally and completely changed the way that we were able to share and listen to music and watch movies was invented in Eindhoven. Like, how crazy is that? It just blows my mind. And some of these inventions, obviously the gateway to so many other innovations, like the microscope and everything that we've mm. been able to learn about our own bodies so and cool. the world that we live in through a microscope is completely attributed to these Dutch inventors that did it first. So not only are these, like these really key pivotal moments, these are gateways to future inventions. And I mm. just, like how did they get it's so all of cool. these dutch inventors to be making all of this stuff like it just oh. now i didn't know this and i have always wondered what the deal is with fahrenheit i don't get it i'm australian we do not use it there we use celsius i had no idea that fahrenheit came from a dutch person which seems strange because So you guys invented Fahrenheit and then abandoned it. Because you don't use it here anymore. It's really only used in America. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm almost positive that America is the only country left that still uses Fahrenheit. So the Dutch inventor was actually Polish born. So this is a little bit, is it really Dutch? I'm almost positive he grew up in the Netherlands, but was born in Poland. Daniel Fahrenheit, I believe is what it would kind of sound like in Dutch is the inventor of the thermometer. So this hmm. was putting alcohol and mercury and measuring the temperature at which water boiled and at which water froze for the very first time. I don't know who invented Celsius, so if anyone knows that, please comment below. Was it another Dutch person? And if yeah, I'd be actually really interested in that as well. And I'm also really interested in why the number difference, like why is it so off? I'm not, I'm not very good at math. Math is not one of my strong suits, so I don't know. If it has anything to do with that, it's probably why I don't understand it, I guess. Someone could tell me why you guys switched to Celsius then and didn't just keep on going with the, the Fahrenheit system. That would also be really handy. So this next one is probably something that I use almost every single day. I have a pair of headphones and they are Bluetooth. Bluetooth was invented by yeah, a Dutchman in, while he wow. was working at Ericsson. Yup. 
Harton thought of the idea of Bluetooth. So wirelessly connecting to another device. And at first I remember Bluetoothing ringtones to other friends while I was at high school. That was my first uh. encounter with Bluetooth. And now it is syncing up devices all over our homes and with other devices internally. So every time I'm in a meeting and I've got my headphones on, I have a Dutchman to thank for that. Now this one I didn't know either and now that I have a child I'm far more familiar with Dutch cartoons and Dutch characters but Miffy, who I have grown up knowing, Miffy. was actually Dutch and she is called Nijntje which is short for Konijntje which is a rabbit. So I think her name in Dutch makes way more sense than just Miffy which makes no sense at all actually. But Dick Bruna is the man who thought about Miffy, Nainche, and we have heaps of her books now in our house and reading them to our daughter. But Miffy is a worldwide character and there is millions and millions of books and toys and TV series and everything to do with Miffy. I am she not familiar is with anything massive. Miffy. Apparently these picture books started when Dick Bruna would tell stories to his son about a rabbit that they used to see on holidays and it just grew from there. So thanks again to the Dutchies for inventing something that was, you know, a part of my childhood on the other side of the world. Dutchies have invented hundreds of things. This was a list of a few of my favorite things that I really saw a massive amount of value in and how they've changed the way that we live today. The Dutch are crazy innovative and when I that was researching this video I came across a whole range of future technologies that they're looking into. So, so they have definitely not stopped inventing, they are still going. If, if anyone wants to see a video about the future innovations that the yes. Netherlands are leading the way in, please give this video a like, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other crazy objects and things that you know were invented by Dutch people, I want to hear about them. So put them in the comments below as well. I would love to read thing. through and find out some other things that I probably use every single day that were also invented by a Dutch person. I hope you like this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah. Boom. Strongly urge you guys to go and hit that subscribe button over there. All right, let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comments below. If you guys want to check out the future stuff, if she has that video up, head on over there, check it out, let me know, come back, hit up the Google form, we'll get it up on the channel. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know where to go from here down in the Google form in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. If not, it's all love. I appreciate you guys for stopping by anyway. Make sure you smash the crap out of that thumbs down button. Check out one of the other couple videos before you take off, and I'll catch you on the next one.